After winning the 2020 NBA championship, the Lakers are still looking to repeat. That means they'll have to improve their roster as the other stars such as Durant, Curry, and Clay are healthy, adding more challenges for the Lakers. With that said, here are my predictions for the Lakers this upcoming offseason. After winning his first NBA championship, it's a no-brainer that Anthony Davis will resign with the Lakers. Playing with LeBron has surely helped him take the next step. LeBron taught him what it takes to be a champion by helping him view the game differently by blocking out the noise and constantly giving 100%. AD even said that he'd like to play with LeBron for nine more years to win more titles, which is a clear indication of him staying. AD resigning puts the Lakers in a position to contend every year. With the help of GM Rob Palenka planning to add another young star to the mix, it extends LeBron's time in the NBA by allowing him to not always carry the team. Once LeBron leaves, the Lakers will still be contending with AD, and the other star the Lakers will soon trade for or sign. The next prediction is the Lakers trading Carl Kuzma, Danny Bricks, McGee, Cook, and their 28th pick for Chris Paul. This rumor has been growing recently, and it might not be as bad as people think except for the huge contract that comes with it. Although the Lakers would have to sacrifice their cap space to absorb Paul's contract, it would form a big three that would dominate the league. It's unlikely that the Lakers get a star in the 2021 free agent market, the only likely one they get would be who? DeRozan. Lol, no thanks and Carl Kuzma will also look to get paid. Which is why getting Paul makes it easier since he'll help the Lakers for two years, and then the Lakers would sign a star in the 2022 free agent market. The only concern with Paul is his durability, but the Lakers will likely figure it out. They have an elite training staff and Vogel will manage his minutes properly like he did with LeBron's last season. The next prediction is Gallinari taking the full mid-level exception. At the age of 32, Gallinari only has a few years left to win his first championship and what more than to join the Lakers. The teams with the space to sign him are not contending, and he recently said that he prioritizes winning rather than taking a large contract. He would directly provide an offensive boost as a starter or off the bench which adds another threat behind James, AD, and Paul. Gallinari fits perfectly in the Lakers' system as an enormous threat from deep to a defense. Gallinari shoots 40.9% from outside on 7.3 attempts per game. There are very few players who can knock down a high volume of looks from deep efficiently. Defenses cannot treat Gallinari as a catch-and-shoot threat, as he is happy to put the ball on the floor and work inside. It is a layer of Gallo's game that the defense has to think about when guarding Gallinari. The next prediction is the Lakers signing Mo Harkless. A strong wing defender with length and athleticism is of critical importance, especially since James is getting up there in age and is unable and unwilling to play elite-level defense at all times. After all, he does have to pace himself at this point of his career. Harkless not only has length, but he also weighs about 220 pounds, which gives him the girth and strength to body up to players like Kawhi, way off P. Giannis and KD. As we all know, defense wins championships, and signing Heartless would go a long way towards keeping the Lakers among the NBA's elite defensive squads. He can also knock down open three-point shots as well unlike Carl Kuzma pump faking nobody. He is just so good down there. Kuzma left. You are so dumb. You are so dumb. Damn. And the last prediction is the Lakers resigning the key role players such as Markeith, Dwight, and Casey MVP. The Lakers will also resign Cousins, giving him another chance to show that he can still ball out and that he's capable of being the star he once was. It's likely that these players would want to run it back for a chance to repeat with how deep the team is. Keeping these players would also mean keeping the great chemistry the team has developed over the past season which gives them the edge over the rest of the teams. That completes the team with a starting lineup of Paul, KCP, LeBron, AD, and Dwight who can play on both ends of the floor.
while the bench consists of Bradley, Caruso, Harkless, Gallinari, Cousins, THT, and Morris. Though Gallinari and Cousins aren't that great in defense, they have Caruso, Bradley, and Harkless to cover for them. The Lakers will likely play Cousins off the bench and gradually increase his role, inserting him in the starting lineup once they feel that he's ready for it. With all that said, let me know down the comments your predictions and if you think the Lakers can pull this off. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and on the notification bell for more Lakers-related content. And that's a wrap. Peace.